All right, last day of the trip, but we're still gonna end with an epic activity, and that is scuba diving, which is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. In college, I was a lifeguard and a swim instructor, and during those courses, we did get to go down to a 15-foot deep pool with a tank to kind of get a sense of what that would be like, but this is totally different because you're in the ocean, you're learning how to balance yourself with a tank on your back, and of course you're dealing with the water pressure the deeper you go in. So my original plan was to come to Belize and get my paddy license here because Belize has the second largest coral reef system in the world next to Australia's Great Barrier Reef, so what better place to do it than here. The course is the four day course. I didn't have four days available, but luckily, Dye Shop over here offers a half day tour scuba introduction course. And the best part is I get to learn in the ocean. It's pretty much a private tour. It's just me and Lloyd. When we got to Ho Chan, we had to register with the water police, which makes sense, I guess, if you ever get lost or end up as fish food. But we're ready. When I got in the water, it took me a few seconds to adjust to breathing with the tank, but everything was all good. We then worked on a few drills, but particularly how to release the water from your tank by giving it two pumps because the last thing you want to do is inhale water that may be trapped in a tube while you're deep in the ocean and also how to release water from your mask. Once we pass that, then we can go a little bit deeper. I was actually really surprised that my equilibrium was fine. I always thought that you had to equalize when you started feeling the pressure, but you actually do it beforehand so that as you get lower, you adjust. And that worked out perfectly fine. I didn't really seem to have any problems. So once we got in about 40 feet, there was this whole world that I've never seen before. I saw tons of fish just living their life, doing their thing. They didn't even budge. They were just like, you're in our world now. And it's just so beautiful to see. We were swimming with schools of fish. There must have been hundreds, hundreds of fish. Lloyd even spotted a shark, and it must have been about 12 feet long. I saw stingrays, and finally, I got to swim alongside sea turtles, which I am the happiest guy in the world now. So yeah, I can call this trip a wrap just, just from that alone. <laughs> Honestly, this is probably one of the most exciting things I've ever done. I could totally see why scuba diving is such an obsession and I would love to come back here to do my paddy license. Um, yeah, what a great way to end the trip. <laughs>